dishwashers in kitchens all across the country are catching fire without warning. 23 ABC's Todd Carley is here with the results of a national investigation. Todd? Well, Jackie and Aaron, that investigation by Scripps television stations, including 23 ABC, is revealing thousands of people reporting the same problem. Dishwasher maker Whirlpool selling a potentially hazardous appliance. It can lie dormant in the heart of your kitchen. It's dangerous, and it could, it, it could potentially kill people. Catherine Wood's dishwasher went from dormant to dangerous in her southwest Bakersfield home, as she explained while standing next to her new dishwasher. We were watching television, the whole family, and we smelled something kind of funny, and we heard some noises. It was a like an electrical noise. As we track this story across the country, a theme began to emerge. That burning smell was not unique to Wood's Kitchen. They smelled it in Detroit. We looked over and smoke was coming out and we smelled a plastic burning smell. They smelled it in Cincinnati. Strong electrical smell and it filled the hole downstairs with smoke. They smelled it in Baltimore. And smelled some plastic burning. Wood says she knows what caused her fire. So it was definitely a circuit board issue. Just like most of the others. Yeah. Wood has kept her damaged KitchenAid dishwasher, and after tearing open the front panel while we were there, she is seeing the charred wiring and melted plastic inside the dishwasher door for the first time. The problem is a defective design in the control panel. Attorney Charles Fax is working on a class action lawsuit against dishwasher maker Whirlpool. He says hundreds of thousands of dishwashers sold under their brand names, including Whirlpool and Kenmore, have a defective control unit, including the circuit board. California is really a center of um, the problem. We, there, we have many, many complaints from California. Like in Santee near San Diego, when this past Halloween, firefighters knew the cause within moments of extinguishing the flames. While the cats in the home escaped safely, the dishwasher didn't. The cause of the fire uh, was isolated to the dishwasher. A lot of times I'll set the delay switch and, you know, go to bed or turn it on before I go to bed or you turn it on before you leave the house. And Fire investigation reports we obtained can't prove a pattern, but they do show there is a potential problem with some dishwashers around the country. The federal government knows there's a problem. Between March and November of 2011, the Consumer Product Safety Commission logged more than 260 dishwasher incidents on its public website, saferproducts.gov. Of those, more than half reported smoke or flames. Sometimes Wood's children will start the dishwasher when she isn't home. As if I hadn't been sitting here, it, it, the, the what ifs scare me almost worse than the actual, you know, what happened. That online forum publicized a few hundred potential disasters, but our investigation found more than 1,600 complaints that are not published by the CPSC. The reports are only made public when requested. So we requested them. In five years worth of internal data, 80% of the time consumers reported a fire. A representative came out to the home, interviewed me for a couple of hours, asking me lots of questions. We have questions for the CPSC too about what brands are mentioned in those cases. But the CPSC won't tell us until it gets permission from the companies involved. We've been waiting for six weeks. While the government isn't pointing any fingers at any brand, consumers like Wood are. She and others have posted on blogs like KitchenAidFire.com. Those posts show people like Wood aren't alone. It just could have been. I, I just can't even go there. It just... Yeah. KitchenAid means to take responsibility for their circuit boards. Now, Whirlpool says it builds its dishwashers with a component to turn off power in the unlikely event a control board overheats. The company says they are investigating complaints brought to their attention and working closely with the appropriate agencies. A GE says product safety is a fundamental commitment and that all GE dishwashers meet third-party industry safety requirements and that GE investigates reported safety issues and initiates corrective action when it is appropriate. So is there anything we can do to cut down on the risk of a fire? Well, as you kind of heard in the story, don't let those dishwashers run when you're not there without someone in the house paying close attention. Mm -hmm. As you heard Catherine from Southwest Bakersfield say, sometimes she has her children in the house and that's really scary for her when she's not there. Or probably overnight, too. Yeah, don't leave them yeah. overnight. We talk to even people in our newsroom and say they do that. Well, we do oh, yeah. that. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. don't turn them on and leave them overnight. Don't set that timer. Make sure you're there when it's running.
All right, and uh, there's also material on our website, turn to 23com that can help you determine if your dishwasher is safe or dangerous. Yeah, we uh, mentioned there are a lot of testimonials across the country. You can see here our graphic. You can go on our website, turn to 23, and hear from other people across the country who have had the same problem and facing that same issue. There's a lot of information there, including links to databases and company statements. You'll find it all on our website, turn23.com. All right, very interesting. All right, Todd, thanks.